Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 9th of 2023. Well, it is titled Perseid meteors from Perseus. So what do we see here? Well, here is a chance to see some meteors over this coming week. And this image, not from the current meteor shower, but from the 2018 Perseid meteor shower. And that is occurs when material from a comet and the comet is left behind in its orbit. So the comet orbits the sun. And as it does, it material is vaporized off the comet. And that material that is no longer bound to the comet is still bound to the sun. It still orbits the sun exactly as the comet did. It follows in the same orbit. And that material will continue to orbit around the sun just like the comet, although it slowly spreads out. So essentially, the comet orbit becomes filled with debris. Now this is just little tiny pieces of dust, tiny specks of dust. And when the Earth ha may happen to pass through that orbit, those little bits strike our atmosphere at very high speeds, tens of thousands of miles an hour. And when they do so, they vaporize. And what we see as a shooting star or a meteor here is actually that tiny bit of comet dust burning up in Earth's upper atmosphere. Now you can see that some are lar a little bit larger here, maybe small pebbles that are burning up and you can see that they glow a little a little bit brighter in certain parts. Now essentially in a meteor shower, none of these particles will ever make it down to the surface of Earth. So it's just a beautiful show up in the sky being able to see these objects. Now, you notice how they all tend to come from one point. If you connect them all, they seem to come back to this one point up in within our Milky Way, actually located in the constellation of Perseus. That's how the meteor showers get their name from the constellation from which the 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 meteors appear to radiate. And we they go back to what we call the radiant point of the shower. Now that really has nothing to do except that a perspective that we're seeing for all of these uh, objects. They're traveling parallel together through space. So when we look at them off in the distance, they all appear to be coming from the same point. Just as railroad tracks or telephone poles will appear to converge together off in the distance. Well, that's the same thing happening here. These are really all coming parallel. And it's just our perspective as we see them looking outward, that we see them appear to converge from one point in in space. So there are other other meteor showers that come seem to come from other areas in the sky. This is just a very prominent one for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a very prominent uh, meteor shower. It usually gets a good number of meteors. Uh, a peak will be on Saturday night into Sunday morning. And you may see a few may see a few every minute depending on how dark of a sight you have. Especially fortunate that we will have the moon will be in a very uh, uh, thin crescent phase so it will not be brightening the sky allowing us to see fainter meteors. So over the coming days this is a chance to be able to get out and see a few shooting stars if you look out towards the north towards the constellation of Perseus and watch you will be able to see a few. Now you won't see them streaming as it's shown in the picture here. This was taken over a good period of time and you're seeing a number of meteors that occurred over a long period of time. However you could see a few every minute depending on how intense it is. So that was our picture of the day for August 9th of 2023. It was titled Perseid Meteors from Perseus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.